So now I want to create an object that I can shoot at and that will take damage. So what I'm going to do up front is I'm just going to make a square that I could shoot at. Something very basic. I'm going to go up to game object, hit create other, and create a cube. And it's just going to create one for me, real simple. And uh, it's got a collider attached to it. It's got a mesh attached to it, as we can see over here in the inspector. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my camera so I can kind of see my my viewport over there. I'm going to move this guy in front of my camera. Let me rotate this guy around so I can kind of get a better vantage point. Okay, so now I can see it at the start. Okay, so now if I hit play, my box is going to be there sitting. I can hit it and it explodes, which is pretty cool. But, you know, we want to do more than that. So, what I'm going to do is attach a rigid body to this. So I'm going to go up to components, physics, rigid body. Now a rigid body pretty much allows your box here to interact with the physics of the game. So now if I hit play, it falls to the ground rather than just floating. And if I hit it, hey, it goes flying. So now we got some real physics going on. You know, nothing too fancy, but it kind of gets the point across and I just hit him off the edge there he goes forever so anyway that's kind of cool so now we can hit him and he moves around but you know nothing's really happening when you hit him we just see the explosion occur so in order to get this guy to have health and in order for him to be destroyed we have to kind of script this out some way so what I'm gonna do I already have some scripts I created earlier again I'm going to grab my health script. I'm going to drag it over here to the inspector, or I could drag it on top of my game object. I'm just going to bring it to the inspector and put a health script on. Now, what my health script is, let me go ahead and uh, open this in Unity again. And you can check it out. It's pretty simple. I'm basically saying that it has an HP value, which I can set over here in the inspector if I click on my guy. 50 is a bit much. I'll change that later. But I have an HP value, which I, I default set at 50. Now I'm calling a function that Unity has built in, which monitors the time since the game has started. So I'm telling it every three seconds, I want it to do something. Every three seconds, I want it to invoke the region function, which says that the HP equals the current HP plus five. So every three seconds, it's gonna get five HP back. Now my fireball, Or sorry, yeah, my projectile does five damage. So every time my projectile hits this box, I want it to deal five damage. But if the box goes three seconds, if it's still alive in three seconds, it's going to gain five HP back. So the idea is to get it down to zero before it keeps regenerating HP. So, and then I have a collision function in here. So it says that if a rigid body object hits it, which means that if it touches the ground, nothing will happen. But if my fireball hits it, which is a rigid body, it's going to take 5 damage. It's going to be HP minus 5. Now, again, this script doesn't necessarily work in the universal side of things because normally you would want it to be like HP minus weapon damage, which would be defined somewhere else, but I'm just saying 5. I just hard-coded it for now. And then I want it to also play an audio sound when I hit it. So, now my audio sound is actually defined here in the inspector. So right now it's not assigned to anything. So let me go under my sounds here, which again, I downloaded off the internet, license free. And I don't remember which one is which. I think this is my explosion. I want it now so that if it gets hit, it makes like a cool explosion sound. So next thing I gotta do is go to component, audio, and put an audio source. This tells the program that this will uh, play a sound effect. Now, my audio clip that's going to be played is the explosion sound. So now, hopefully, there we go. You know, it, it, it's okay. Nothing too fancy. And there's also the issue I shoot the ground, nothing happens. So that's something I would have to fix later, but I'm not going to delve into too much here. So I got my audio source on this guy. He's now moving around on a rigid body. And he does have health. He has HP. 
And if I watch this uh, over on the inspector, if I look at the HP, after three seconds, it went up to 55. Now it's up to 60. Now if I hit it, it goes down five. So I can keep hitting it down. And obviously, 50 is a bit much. So why don't I start them off with 20? Now I hit play. Now I can bring him down to, to zero much quicker. Of course, nothing much happens at zero. In fact, I get a ton of errors in my thing here. So now in my game, I'm able to hit it. It's able to take damage, although I can't really see that in game. I would have to add some sort of health bar. But for right now, I just look at the inspector on the right side of the menu, look at the HP and see what's going on. Now, you notice right when I hit it at zero, I got this null reference exception, which means there's some kind of problem in my code. So let me go back here and let me try and tackle this down. So if I look at my health script, I'm saying if the HP equals zero, play a certain sound effect and then make the object explode. Well, my object doesn't have a detonator attached to it yet. So, what I'm going to do is attach a detonator to it. A detonator, again, you can download the detonator package from Unity's website, but I'm going to select my object. I'm going to go to Component. I'm going to go down to Detonator. I'm going to say Attach a Detonator. Now, I can look at all this stuff down here. I want the size to be real small. I mean, this thing is huge at 10, and it kills my CPU. So, I'm just going to bring it down to 1. Or, or maybe two, give, give a little bit of a light show. It's gonna explode for three seconds, or it's gonna, the duration of the explosion is gonna last for three seconds, and then the object will be destroyed after seven. Well, I don't really want that. I want the object to be destroyed uh, once the duration of the explosion's over, more or less. So I'm just gonna put that at three. Everything else here is, is basically, you know, set by itself. So now I have the detonator script, I should actually see this thing explode when I hit down to zero. So let's try it out. Whoops. I do not want it to explode on start. That was my mistake. So I uncheck that. So now... Whoa, there it goes. And it's still there and it destroys itself from the hierarchy and you'll notice. And now I've got no box to shoot. But... That's kind of the gist of it. So I have now fireballs being shot and hitting this box. And every time I hit it, whoops, I fell off the earth. But every time I hit it, it's going to deal five damage. Uh, I can't hit it. Well, it's going to deal five damage, and every three seconds it's going to regenerate five health. It's very simple, but it kind of gives you the idea of how to set things up in Unity so you can make a functional game. I'm not going to do much with a setup like this, but doing something like this taught me the basics of utilizing Unity to create objects and have these objects interact with each other. And so much of it is scripting. You're going to spend so much time learning the scripting, and, and once you know it, you're going to have so much power at your hands. So. Next, let me, I don't like this level. I want to create something much more visually appealing for my very basic physics game to play out in.